You are here at the nation's number one pro wrestling alternative. It's NWA Wildside. We thank you for joining us. Stephen Prezak, along with Dan the Dragon Wilson. And last week, we left you with an amazing main event. It was between the sickle-wielding maniac Tank and his tag team partner, the ticking time bomb Scotty Wren, facing all that Adam Jacobs and 600 plus pounds of iceberg. As you might have guessed, it ended up in a complete melee. Ultimately, with other members of the War Games team, namely Rick Michaels and David Young, being involved in order to help out a tank of Scotty Wren, and none of them could get along. What remotely, is there any respect there? Uh, the friendship, I suppose, is out the window. But how are these guys going to cooperate at war games? I mean, I know every man for himself, but there has to be some level of cooperation. Right now, I see none. But that was last week. My friends, this is this week. Your main event fans this week, stemming from events that occurred last week. Rain Man, the sole assassin, is going to be taking on the messiah of the spine buster, David Young. And we saw last week Homicide suspended indefinitely for attacking Bill Barron's. Jason Cross retiring from professional wrestling. The weight of the NWA elite has been placed on the shoulders of a rain man. A man Jeff G. Bailey says is Bill Barron's worst nightmare as a hand-picked world champion because he's a black world champion. Jeff G. Bailey crying racism, and I'm not even going to touch that issue with a 10-foot pole. But that's your main event tonight, David Young and Rain Man, and it's going to explode. My friends, there's more. G-Rated takes on the full-blooded Italians, Tony Mamaluke and Terry Knight Nelly. Plus, we have some insane six-man action. It's all this week on NWA Wildside. Damn it, let's do it. Three weeks. Three weeks, Jeff Bailey. That's how long I've had to sit and think about what you did. The way you robbed me, the way you took the NWA Wildside title. You know, you brought Jason Cross. He knew. He knew he should never come back in this building again. He knew I'd get him. That's why your belt's held up. That's why Jason Cross isn't here, because he was afraid. But every week, Jeff Bailey, you come in this building with that stupid little smile on your face, that wind tunnel tested hairdo. And every week you think you're going to bring the next great wrestler in here to take David Young out, to take the Wildside title, to rule this company. You know something? You're bringing Rain Man. I know what it's like. I know exactly what it's like to be a tag team wrestler. I know what it's like to try to break out and, you know, be somebody by yourself. And you know what? I'm not going to tell you the kid's not going to make it. I'm going to tell you one thing, though, Jeff Bailey. You haven't hurt me. You didn't take my pride. You took my belt. And by God, that pisses me off. That pisses me off, Bailey. And by God, what you've done, Bailey, is you started a war. A war that you can't finish, Jeff Bailey. And I will finish it. I will finish it, Bailey, because one way or the other, I will get my hands on you. One way or the other, you will pay. And one way or the other, David Young will be the NWA Wildside Heavyweight Champion. Rain Man, you strap him on tight because by hell, you've got a war tonight.